Green spaces is the kind of workplace President Obama would like more of. It groups together environmentally driven small businesses, green startups that could drive job creation in America. With the help of a famous sporting name, Green Spaces has started training young people for so-called green collar jobs. We wanted to help get green collar jobs. And with the economy the way it is, and the future knowing that we have to go in this, in this direction, that we thought we'd start in a very small way and provide funds for two young people. Providing a green turnship for these students. And it is these green collar jobs that are on the agenda at President Obama's Jobs Forum as one solution to America's most pressing economic issue, soaring unemployment. Whilst the US economy is actually growing, one in 10 Americans are out of work and President Obama is urging action now. We cannot hang back and hope for the best when we've seen the kinds of job losses that we've seen over the last year. I am not interested in taking a wait-and-see approach when it comes to creating jobs. But critics say an afternoon of discussions with business leaders will do little on the ground. Small businesses are still without credit options, millions are underemployed and the U.S. recovery remains fragile. The problem is that we're still losing jobs rather than gaining jobs, although the, we're seeing some firing fatigue out there. We're not firing people as rapidly as we were. We've yet to see that commitment to hire. President Obama says he is looking for low-cost solutions to help boost job creation in America, not just another stimulus package. But can the business leaders that he has invited to the White House turn all the talk into new green jobs, or indeed any jobs for America, when they are so desperately needed now? Caroline Hepke, BBC News in New York.